If you're a golfer who's limited in these three areas, the chances are it's restricting your golf swing. What I'm talking about specifically is the flexibility and the mobility of how the hip joint, the thoracic spine, and the shoulders can move. If we think of a typical golf swing, the ability to rotate the hips, to rotate the rib cage, that thoracic spine and that trunk, and to move the shoulders into a good range of motion allows the golfer to create a bigger turn, a more efficient swing, take stress off the body, and to move into the positions they desire. By following these three exercises on just a simple daily basis, you can increase the flexibility in these joints that's gonna help with your golf swing. So the first exercise we're gonna focus on more the hips. All you need to do is take a golf club. Now, if this is a little bit too challenging, what you can do is just hold on something next to you like a wall so you're nice and stable. All you're gonna do is balance on one leg. I'm gonna bring the opposite leg, the opposite knee almost to the ceiling. So we're essentially lifting that knee up nice and high. From here, we're gonna open the gate. So essentially create that position and turn it 90 degrees, and then feel like we rotate the leg behind and back up. So essentially we're creating a big circular motion through that hip joint. So that's a, quite a controlled movement, trying to keep nice and stable through the standing leg. We're creating that big circular motion in that controlled manner. And then when we've done six to eight reps in one direction, we're gonna change that direction. You can alternate as you go, but we're probably looking around 16 to 20 movements on each leg, which will then also have an impact on that standing leg from an endurance and balance perspective. Secondly, we're gonna focus more on that thoracic spine and a little bit into the lats, so those kind of rotary muscles. Take the golf club wrapped around the palm, we're gonna then put the opposite hand over the top. So we're essentially got this lead arm underneath. We're gonna sit the hips to the heels. And from here, we're gonna essentially try and push the golf club away as far as we can until you feel a little bit of a stretch through the side of that back. Holding that position, you're just then gonna elevate it upwards and then downwards. From here, then you're just gonna bring that back, take the stretch off and repeat that motion. What we're trying to do is feel that stretch, creating as much of a reach and turn as we can in each position to really try and mobilize the side of that rib cage and lat muscle to release what we're looking for. Aim to do eight to 10 reps each side. Finally, we're gonna focus on the shoulders. This particular variation would be a little bit more demanding is because we're gonna add in lower body stability if it's too difficult, you can do this sat down or in a kneeling position. We're gonna take a golf club. If you struggle a bit with the shoulders, a wider golf club or a longer golf club, it makes it a little bit easier. So you're gonna go into a split stance, so where you're naturally on your back tiptoe, we've got a bit of stability through that front leg. We're gonna lift the arms overhead, and then we're gonna create a circular motion starting to the side. So as I come behind my back, I'm gonna then rotate all the way around. And as you can see, when I get to the back position, I'm fully in that shape. As I reach over with one arm, I then bring that club and that hand. So we're creating that circular motion. I almost liken it to a canoeing type action because we're constantly keeping that moving. And those shoulder blades in particular should feel like they're really rotating and mobilizing. Again, look for around about eight reps in one direction and then repeat in the opposite before swapping legs. By simply applying those three exercises, a couple of sets with the recommended reps each day as part of a simple routine, even part of a warm up before golf, that's gonna really help mobilize and gain a little bit more flexibility in those key joints that's only gonna make your golf swing easier. If you found this routine useful and you want something that's gonna be more progressive or different options for strength, power, and speed, check out my golf performance app here.